Hello, Pony Pals! Eating? So good! I like chocolate a lot. I like chocolate. <coughs> <coughs> okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna have chocolate. Oops. We're gonna do some tips today. Oh, do that day. Are you ready? Are you ready for tips for the sitting trot? Let's get into the video. I have seven tips today for you to improve the sitting trot. Tip one for the sitting trot. Sit the trot because you're not gonna get better unless you practice. Tip number two. Drop your stirrups and sit the sitting trot. Tip number three, make sure you're breathing. Because a lot of times, us equestrians, we just get kind of nervous. We're like, <sighs> so don't hold your breath. If you really suck at the sitting trot and you're bouncing all over the place and you feel like you're gonna fall off, then refer to my double down video, which is, just go to my video section and look for double down right answer. So that's tip number four. Tip number five, don't just sit there. Because if you do that, you're just gonna bounce all over the place. You actually have to move your hips. You really gotta move them like you're dancing, like you're like Shakira, whatever, I don't know. If you just sit there like a blob, you're gonna have some issues. Tip number six. So I have a couple of exercises that you can try to help improve your sitting trot. And one of them is called legs away. So you're sitting in the trot and Sometimes we grip our legs on the horse, but you don't want to grip your legs because that can make you bounce more. So what you do is you just take your legs off, kind of throw your legs out to the side and then let them come back down. So you might do it every couple strides. You might do it like if you feel yourself gripping, you might just take your legs away for a second. Tip number seven. This is the last tip. The last tip! Um, is bicycle and basically from your hips down to your feet you pretend you're like pedaling a little bicycle and you do it in time with the horse's back legs and what this does is it helps your hips to move up and down with the horse as well as forward and back so your hips are moving with the horse's back and you can almost find that rhythm that your hips need to move in. If anybody has any other tips to improve the sitting trot, please put it in the comments below so that we can help out all these people that need help with the sitting trot. And I have to say, it's taken me years to get better at the sitting trot. I've been riding for 17 years. I've gotten a lot better. I've gotten a lot better at the sitting trot. Not perfect, but that's it for today. Those are the tips, and I hope you liked this video. Click that like button. I don't know what it does, but at least I know that you like it and it makes me smile. I will not see you later, but you'll see me later because unless I see your videos. But okay. God bless and ride on. Thank you, little weedy. Look at that cute little face of yours. Oh, you're so tired. Yeah, this is how I talk to my cat. Okay.